So I've recently realized something about Joe Rogan and how he manages to stay so calm in some of his conversations. And it's actually the same thing that makes him such a good podcast host. So hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Alex, I'm a coach. And this channel is all about self-development and helping you to live a happier and more fulfilling life. So Joe Rogan's been in the news quite a lot recently for various different reasons. And I've listened to a lot of his podcasts over the years. Like I think that he's a really, really great podcast host. And I've also thought like, wow, if that was me in that position, I'd really lose it with some guests. I'd really like lose my temper with some of the stuff they're saying or I would want to disagree. And I realized recently that the thing that makes Joe Rogan such a great podcast host is the same reason why he stays and manages to stay so calm with some of the guests that he have. And that is because when he's present in a conversation, he's deeply listening to his guest. He's not sitting there listening to the guest with all of these stories and ideas of concepts of his own within his head. He's deeply listening to them. And when he's really present to that and when he allows like, all of this thinking and his ego to really dissolve away, what he's left with is listening to where the guest is at. So if his guest is, is sharing something and they're coming from a place of excitement or they're coming from a place of frustration or a place of fear or insecurity, he meets them at that point and he speaks to them where they are. He speaks to their frustration. He speaks to their excitement. He speaks to their insecurity. And what that does is it allows him when he's in those conversations, when he's interviewing to, 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 to build a really deep connection with the person that sat opposite with him. And that's why the conversations that he has are so like uh, riveting sometimes because they're just pure conversation there's no there's no ego about the way that he's approaching the guests it's not like this is my show and i need to do all the talking it's like i want to hear what you're about i want to hear what you've got to say i want to make you feel like you're the most interesting person in the world and i think it's a really good teaching point because what if we looked at the relationships we have in our lives with our friends with our boyfriends or girlfriends husbands wives uh, brothers sisters parents what if we took some of that approach in in those uh, uh, relationships for ourselves? What if we took the approach of like, I want to hear about you. I want to speak to where you're at. If we're talking about this topic and you sound frustrated about work, I want to speak to your frustration. I want to hear about it. Tell me about it. If you're telling me about this new project that you want to undertake and you sound really excited about it, I want to speak to that excitement. I want to hear about it. I want to hear more about what what why you're so excited about it. Tell me about it. And that's going to build like a, uh, uh, or open a really solid foundation to have that conversation. And if, if, if we're doing that in every other relationship in our life, the relationships and the bonds that we have with people are just going to get deeper and deeper. And, you know, you can listen to any one of Joe Rogan's podcast episodes and they're like three, three and a half, four hours long. People don't sit down <laughs> for a conversation for four hours just on, just on an off topic to like talk about some stuff. Like they're there talking about things that they really care about and Joe is really deeply listening to them. So there's there's a level of like, I want to share more. Like I want you to tell me more about what you're saying and what you believe and what you're talking about. And when you're coming from that space, it's impossible to have all these egoistic thoughts of like, no, I don't agree or no, you're wrong or no, that can't be true or I disagree with you and let's have an argument about it because you're purely coming at it from like, I want, I want to hear your perspective on it. I want to hear your perspective. It's not about me and what I think and about my ideas. I want to hear your perspective. And that one single thing, like, is the same thing that's going to open up a lot of relationships in your life. Like, have a think now, like, what relationship in your life are you not deeply listening to someone? What relationship in, you, in your life are you not deeply being present with someone and meeting them where they're at, speaking to where they're at? They could be the same relationships that 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 to you feel like they need some work or could be better or could could be stronger or you could be closer with that person. I know when I've looked around in my life and I've seen that with my parents or my girlfriend, like I've seen it to be true. What if I showed up more from a place of like, I want to hear about you. Tell me about it. I want to meet you where you are. Like the relationships get better and better over time. And it's a really, really great like teaching point. And it's been a great teaching point in my life because I've seen my relationships with people really improve 
based off of the fact that if I know I'm deeply listening and deeply being present to someone, then they're going to be more open and more willing to share what it is that they're talking about or what what what, what they're going through. And that becomes really powerful because if you're able to do that, like I said, the relationship's only going to blossom. It's only going to get better. So I'd love to know what you get from this episode. I'd love to know what the learning in this is for you. And I'd love for you to have a think about what are the relationships that you think could improve if you're deeply listening and deeply being present with people. And let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'm, I'm really curious about like what comes up for you like having listened to this. So to get in touch with me, just DM me on Instagram at IamAlexManzi. Send me a message of what you've learned from this episode. I'd love to hear it because I make these episodes not to just shout into the camera or the microphone, but to hear from 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 you. What like what have you got from listening to it? I want to have a conversation about it. So please hit me up with your learnings. And if you've liked what you've seen today and you've learned something new, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and be sure to share it with, to, to share it with a friend as well, so they could potentially learn something as well. I started creating these sort of videos and this platform so that I could help someone make a positive change in their life. And you could be a part of that by sharing this with someone that you know today. So I wanna thank London Media Lounge for editing and producing this episode. And I wanna thank you for spending time with me and I will see you for the next one.